Good morning, children. Today we will be reading The Tale of Peter Rabbit. It is on page 15 of your English literature textbook. Please open your books and get ready. Okay, let us start. Now, before we begin, make sure you read the lesson carefully and pay attention to the pronunciations. Okay? Now let's begin. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. Their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. They lived with their mother underneath the root of a very big tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. MacGregor's garden. Your father had an accident and he was put in a pie by Mrs. MacGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I'm going out. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. MacGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. First he ate some lettuces and some French beans and then he ate some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. But round the end of a cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees planting young cabbages. But he jumped up and ran after Peter waving a rake and calling out, Stop, thief! Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He ran on and went faster, but unfortunately, he ran into a gooseberry net and got caught. Peter thought his end was near and shed big tears. Mr. MacGregor came up with a sieve, which he planned to put on the top of Peter. But Peter wriggled out just in time. He rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. Mr. MacGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. He began to turn them over carefully, looking under each. Soon Peter sneezed. Kachu! Mr. McGregor was after him in no time and tried to put his foot upon Peter who jumped out of a window, upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor, and he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling with fright, and he had not the least idea which way to go? After a time, he began to wander about, going 
lippity, lippity, not very fast and looking all around. He found a door in a wall, but it was locked and there was no room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Peter asked her the way to the gate, but she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. He went back towards the tool shed, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard the noise of a hoe. Scritch, scratch, scratch, scritch. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. But soon, as nothing happened, he came out and climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. His back was turned towards Peter and beyond him was the gate. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. Peter never stopped running or looking or looked behind him till he got home to the big tree. Please read the chapter, boys. Okay?